I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to factor a cubic equation. So I have an equation here to factor x cubed minus 7x plus 6. First step is to find possible factors. So what could be the values of x which could lead to factoring of this cubic equation. Those are all factors of 6. So we'll test the values of x as equal to plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6. So these are all possible factors. So let's write down what is the value of this function for x equals to 1. So if I write polynomial value for x equals to 1, that is to substitute 1 here, so we get 1 cube minus 7 times 1 plus 6 and that is indeed equal to 0. So if the value of the polynomial is 1 for 1 is 0 that means that x minus 1 is a factor. So we have got one factor. Factor means that if I divide by x minus 1 the given polynomial remainder will be 0 and we'll get the quotient which will be the other factor, correct? So let's do the division and here we'll do, I'll show you both synthetic and long division, right? So in synthetic division, we straight away write down the polynomial. Now in this polynomial, x square position is missing. So we are going to use a placeholder. So we have x cubed plus 0x square. This is called the placeholder minus 7x plus 6. We'll divide by x minus 1 as we just found that x minus 1 is a factor. Correct? Uh, the long division is kind of similar to what you've already learned. We take care of the first leading coefficient. Now here it is x cubed with 1 so we'll multiply it by x square. That gives you x cubed minus x square. Now, when you take away x cubed minus x square, you get x square here. Bring down minus 7x. Now, here the leading coefficient is 1. 1 times 1. So, we'll multiply by plus x. So, we get x square minus x. And now, again, when you take away, what you get here is minus 6x bring down 6 plus 6 leading coefficient is minus 6 when you multiply by minus 6 the first term can cancel and in this case both since the remainder has to be 0 we found that x minus 1 gives a remainder of 0 right so that means x square plus x minus 6 is the other factor right now so we already have Two factors we could now write x cubed minus 7x plus 6 as equal to x minus 1 times x square plus x minus 6. Now x square plus x minus 6 is a quadratic equation which could be factored using product and sum. So we're looking for product of minus 6, sum of plus 1, that is 3 and 2, 3 positive, 2 negative. So I could write this as x minus 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. So that becomes our equation in factored form. Perfect. I left this space purposely so that we can also do nested scheme or synthetic division here. So in synthetic division, we actually write down only the coefficients. As you've seen, we are working with coefficients with place values, correct? So the coefficients here are 1 for x cubed, 0 for placeholder for x square, minus 7 and 6. Now, 
since 1 gave us 0, we'll divide by 1, right? We are not using minus 1. So the strategy here is use 1 and add instead of subtracting. So first step here is bring down the leading coefficient, right? And the second is you have to multiply these two and place it right there as we do, correct? So when you multiply 1 by 1, you get 1. And then, since we took 1, not minus 1, it makes sense to add them and place the answer below, correct? So we add 0 and 1, we get 1. Then again, multiply by 1, so we get plus 1. When you add, you get minus 6. When you multiply, you get minus 6. And as expected, when you plus, you get 0. So these are the coefficients. Since the degree of divisor is 1, dividend is 3, quotient should be 2. So we could write from here the, the quotient, which is x squared plus these are the coefficients of places with degree 2, 1, and 0. So we get x squared plus x minus 6. Do you see? We got the same result as uh, we got earlier, correct? So, so it's a much shorter way of doing and efficient way of doing. So in following videos, we might just do synthetic division. So I hope this example introduces you fairly well to nested scheme of synthetic division. Also remember, if there are missing terms, as there was in this particular case for x squared, we have to use a placeholder so that the process can be done smoothly. I hope that really helps. Feel free to post your comments, share my videos, and all the best. Thank you.